Okay, so we just um, landed in. Okay, we didn't actually land. <laughs> oh uh, yeah, yeah. 14, I think 14, we're flying. 14. All right. So we just arrived by train to Cologne, Germany, and we're off to one of the organisers' houses to get our stuff washed. We haven't washed our things for like 12 days. It's been so crazy. Like, been downloading footage from memory cards on the train, trying to get our first episode uploaded. We're halfway through the tour, couldn't even upload our first episode. We just stopped off at the Starbucks to get some, you know, coffee and, uh, they have amazing vegan options here, eh? And a vegan apple pie in the Starbucks? I've never seen that before. Uh, some other vegan options. Amazing, where, wherever you go, they're having vegan options put on the menu. Just goes to show how fast the group movement is growing. But um, we're gonna go have some breakfast, and then we've got... <laughs> and then we've got to do some vegan outreach. So let's hit it. There's a fire inside your heart. Let it light up the world. Light up the world. Thank you. Peace out. Alright, let's get some bread. It's been our main staple. Bread. Wanna get some bread? And all about you. Yeah. There are many bakeries where you have to ask twice. So if you want to have bread, I can go to the other bakery. Where yeah. You know, they yeah. have also How pastry far? and stuff. It's so really far. Fun. I go there. Um, okay. Um, I can we go there. We want to make tofu sandwiches. Okay. That's awesome. our favorite with sauce. Okay, very nice. Hey. Hi. Am I making a video? Mm. <laughs> Smoked tofu sandwiches have been our staple for this whole tour. And how good is the German one here, huh? This is the best one I've had. I don't reckon it is. One thing German can do at least. <laughs> no vegan bread, but the tofu is alright. Mirabai, hi. Hello, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. How many people we have coming to this event? Um, yeah, there's like, I think 70 people are interested in it. Wow! Get that training. <laughs> Look at the chapel, man. The police are always at your demonstrations? Yes. Okay. Oh, they know about it? What did you ask? No. I said are they always here? The police are always here? For are AD? No, the police that are standing right there. Oh, no, they're waiting for me. Ah, oh, they always... They always come and they say, always... hi, are you alright? They really love us. Oh, Thank wow, that's much. cool. Who had a day off work today? Uh, yeah, woo! <laughs> Thanks for coming. Outreach is so fulfilling. It really is. Because you might be talking to your family, they don't really want to hear it, your friends don't want to hear it anymore. When you come out and do outreach, people stop at the screens because they want to hear you speak about this. Which is good, it's fulfilling. Okay, you get to watch people change in real time. Babies, little babies. They want their mothers. Don't think because someone doesn't go vegan straight away on the spot that you haven't made an impact in their life. Your job is to plant a seed. You do that in the most effective way by asking questions. Do you know what they're protesting against? Killing animals for food, using them for entertainment, animal testing. Uh, milk and eggs. All of these industries, they kill the animals, harm the animals, cut their heads off. Pepper your outreach, your information about what's on the screens with a follow-up question. How does that make you feel? How do you feel when you've seen this? I've seen your face, you looked really disturbed by that. Anyone? It's disturbing, yeah? Yeah. Can you guess who's responsible for this? Who's responsible for these animals being in slaughterhouses? What do you think? Well, 
when I was eating animals, okay, I'd go to the store and I'd say, I want a burger with the body of an animal in it. My money goes to that store owner, to the people who run the slaughterhouse and keeps them in business. So it was my fault, the consumer. So when I worked that out, I decided to go vegan. Do you think animals deserve moral treatment? Um, do you care about a certain animal yourself? Like ask them questions, get them to talk. It doesn't cost anything to be kind to animals. And um, there's some good options here. Starbucks have vegan options, I noticed, but if it says vegan, you know no one was butchered and killed for our dinner plate. Okay? <laughs> They were quite quiet. I think I was too intense with them, or maybe I could have calmed, built more rapport with them. I think I should have, should have built more rapport with those individuals there. That, that was funny. They walked away and they were like, "Oh damn! I just want to have a burger." They can have a vegan burger. <laughs> How are you feeling so far? Well, it's been up and down. It's been a roller coaster. It's a lot of travelling and a lot of events and. We have been tired and motivated and inspired and tired again and worn out, but I love it. I absolutely love it. It's a challenge and I love challenging myself and putting myself on the line. Um, and I hope it inspires everyone that I meet. Yes, so you call it fearless activism. Why do you think it's so important for people not to only live vegan or stop eating animal products? Or Why do you think it's so important to do activism too? Because being vegan only stops the harm in your own life you're not you're not actively trying to change the system that enslaves animals so when you go vegan you've realized you've been causing harm and you stop okay but when you become active you then begin to start helping animals and asking others to stop and creating social change and that is our moral obligation once we know there's cruelty and violence being caused by others it's an injustice to stand by and watch that happen without speaking up against it. So, This scarf here is made of polyester, not animal skin, not wool. So you always got to check when you're in these stores buying scarves and stuff. It takes two minutes. But you know what? <laughs> it looks so warm. Oh my god. Oh wow. Warmness factor times 11. Where do you work? It's my Vogue. It's completely vegan. Oh, wow. Yeah. Let us have a look. Ooh. Yeah. So this is mango and this is pandan. Pandan oh, are palm pandan. leaves. Oh, yes. wow. Okay, I'll try a little piece. I'll try it. Okay. Oh my god. That yeah. was the nicest thing I've put in my mouth for so long. Hey, see us all at the workshop because I'm going to talk heaps more about AV, outreach, techniques, all types of activism. So you'll get a lot from that as well. Excellent. Yeah, you're welcome. That's a decent set, man. Yeah. Ah. Check this out. Where's the doula? Check this out for a venue. This is a proper Catholic church. Woo! Wow, it's really loud. All right, we're trying not to make a habit of this, but look at the venue today. <laughs> Wow. Ba I have to be facing that way? Yes. Because there's more chairs this way, that's all. No, we bring, we bring all the benches okay. here. Sounds good to me. But, you know. Thank you. Hello, everyone. I'm excited to be here. There's a lot of people here, which is amazing. It's good because everyone wants to learn how to be an activist, a productive advocate for veganism, which is amazing. If you always focus on what's happening to animals and never on the outcome of our activism it's going to leave you feeling helpless okay and we can change the world like that that's how powerful 
um, the truth is. I have realized I've been suffering PTSD from my past. I hadn't even had time to notice because I was too busy focusing on fighting for animals. The and vegan prophecy. People are like, oh my God, religion, you're just religion. We're actually in the church right now. <laughs> that, this, this, <laughs> this doesn't sound good. We already believe that a vegan world has happened. We just haven't caught up to it yet. Focus on the animals, I know. seriously. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, sorry, is that fluff? What's this? Oh my god, you. Strawberry <laughs> white chocolate. No! Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. This will be the quickest <laughs> amount of photos I've ever done. Okay, awesome. thanks, thanks so much, man. Thank you. Ah, so oh, no. You're the. Um, where is. Where is Katharina? Katharina? Katarina? What? Are we going to go? How many churches are we going to do workshops in? Eh? We were running, you know, pretty short on time. We have to catch a train straight to Luxembourg. We've got three events tomorrow. So we're only here for the day and we've got to get going. So let's do it. I felt like I was nearly jumbling up my words, man, in that speech, eh? Hey? Like I was like, oh, I'm starting to get tired. <laughs> yeah. Oh.